What's up? I'm Brian Deegan. We're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, hanging out, checking out some NASCAR. Come out and be a part of this event. It's a pretty cool deal. Tonight was a, a stacked field. A lot of good drivers. Tanner Fowles, Ken Block, uh, Marcus Gronholm, Rally Champ, Travis Pastrana, Bucky Lassick, Dave Mira. Pretty cool to get everyone together from BMX, Skate, Moto, uh, Car Racing, everyone here to battle at this track. So uh, it's been a pretty cool event. My spotter, uh, Corey Cruzman, was friends with the guy who runs the Hendrick shop. So we went and visited Jimmy Johnson's and Dale Earnhardt Jr. shop. It was just uh, intense, man, like seeing a race shop that big. And, and, meet, and we got to meet a lot of cool people that are the heavy hitters of, of car racing. Got to go talk to one of my buddies, Ricky Stenhouse. He's a dude who came out to my house and I showed him how to backflip a dirt bike. And... <laughs> I respect what he's done and I think it was cool just hanging out with those dudes and thinking these are the this is the pinnacle right here, the best of the best. Qualifier smoked everyone. Travis Pastrana was in my qualifier. I got the whole shot, was leading. He came in a little hot, it hit me, and we kind of got sideways. I think his car got messed up. And I went on to win the qualifier. Smoked my clutch though. During the qualifier, it's a sequential shift, which means you don't really need to use the clutch. But I think I used the clutch too much and I ended up burning it up. It wouldn't shift, so I ended up winning the qualifier. Coming in, uh, they had to fix the clutch. I got back out for my next heat, I got first pick. Whole shot, I'm winning, Pastrana's in the heat, uh, we've got a few other guys and I'm just checking out and I hit the little jump, I'm cruising and uh, it just snaps my drive shaft and uh, I'm just going no freaking way dude. I've had the gnarliest few weeks with racing and I think it's just testing my will, you know, I went, I was like, oh, shift up, shift down, nothing. I'm like, well, just stay calm, nothing you can do about it at this point. So I just coasted in, the guys pushed me into the pit. These mechanics truly I could tell, like, gave it their all. Like, their heart is beyond anything I've ever seen. Like, they were ripping parts out, and they were just super hot, and just putting parts back in. And the drive shaft ended up snapping in the clutch, so they couldn't just slide it out and put a new drive shaft in. So they had to disassemble it all. They really only had like 10 minutes to do it, and they did everything they could. And they ended up where well, they got it all done. We're putting the skid plate on, which is the final touch. And I was gonna get dropped down and go. And Right when they were doing that, the, the last chance qualifier took off, and that was only my only real shot left at making the main event. So coming up next is uh, Texas Rallycross. I feel like it's good for me just getting out here and getting seat time, driving the rally cars, and getting uh, getting better. And I'm still learning. I've driven a rally car probably less than 10 times, and I'm still learning. And uh, I'm gonna go out there, get the car dialed in. I figure by X Games, I should be way better than I've ever been. And uh, you know, from there I'm at another truck race, going to Utah, racing the, the short course race trucks. I have some vengeance there, I have to go back and get it on and uh, shut some people down and uh, then you know, into X Games and it's going so fast, man, this year's like half done and I feel like it just started, you know, the year's going by so quick and it's crazy, you know.